Well, I think I promised some Rhapsodies of Vanadeel missions, and since I have just zoned into Muhara, which is the trigger for a cutscene for the Rhapsodies of Vanadeel, let's have a look and see what this all entails. An adventurer, are you not? Perhaps it would behoove you to speak to our esteemed governor. There is doubtless a mountain of work around here that needs a steady hand. Some Atsula can show you the way. Somo Atsula can show you the way. Oh, okay. So what's after that? I think I have to go back out and come back in. So we'll do that quick. Or maybe that's all I need to do. Okay. Okay, so where's the governor's residence? Okay, I think I see where it is. No, it must be the top level. So you do not want Orlando's antique. Welcome to the governor's house. How may I be of assistance? Choose first option. I was told to expect someone named Lathy. Would that be you? Forgive me for not recognizing you sooner. I had been told to be on the lookout and usher you into the governor's office without delay. Oh, this is wonderful indeed. I was worried I'd have to hunt and peck for you all down the coast. I, Echo Coco, Echo Coco, serve as the governor of our bright town. Truth be told, I was not the one who sought you out. And that would be Gilgamesh, one of Vanadale's most renowned pi er, entrepreneurs. <laughs> Something about setting sail and finding someone lost at sea? Bah, I never had much of a head for details. What I do know is that your name came up on more than one occasion. He also mentioned something about wanting you to procure some Mandragore dewdrops from Mandragores around the Crag of Maya before you meet him. He hopes to use it to create a special herbal remedy for his crew, or er, associates. The world has been bursting at the seams with odd news these days, and frankly, none of us here can make heads or tails of it all. And Muhara has felt that Felt the effects particularly hard. Our supply of Mandragora dewdrops has been dwindling. I'll call Gilgamesh back to port immediately. In the meantime, rough up some of those Mandragoras and come back with three Mandragora dewdrops. And yes, I am well aware that adventurers often charge a fee for their services, and I will personally see to it that you are properly recompensed. Come back soon. Now, I've already gone to get the dewdrops. So all we do is go over here and trade them to her, I believe. And there they are. I 
How fabulous that you made it back safe, Lathy. Your return couldn't have been more timely. Gilgamesh's ship has only just docked. Lathy, good to see your face again. Let's get the small matter of the Mandragore dewdrops out of the way first. Here you go. Aye, this be just we, just what we ordered. Now a little tit for tat. Always too kind, Gilgamesh. Here, Lathy, one for you too. Suppose we best get down to business. Lathy, you're intimately familiar with my journeys as a pirate on the Bastor Sea. The oceans to the west have been a bit stormier than usual of late, and me, crew, and I came across a small vessel adrift upon the tides. So, of course, I say to myself, who'd have thunk that such a delicate rowboat could stay whole in such a terrible brew, and then the whole thing started, started flashing red. Being the curious sailor I am, I went and investigated. Lo and behold, there was a pretty young lass lying prone along the deck. I've always had quite the fondness for the color red, and figuring it must be a sign from Altana herself, I took her on board and brought her back with me to Norg. When she came to, the first words from those pale lips of hers were your name. So I want you to come back to Norg with us. She was quite insistent on meeting you. You see, she's gone on a bit of a hunger strike. The ship's docked at port waiting to take you wherever you've, you've got your affairs in, whenever you've got your affairs in order here. Just remembered a bit of a pressing engagement I've got to attend to, but I'll catch up with you, the, with you there. As far as I'm aware, there's no boat from Muhar to Norg. Uh, ahem. One last thing before you go. Please, please breathe no word to the citizens about me abetting a gnome pirate. They might not all understand that a port town is only looking out for its best interest when it ensures that those less on the up and up remain happy. When push comes to shove, aren't we all looking out for each other? While I'm not biting the hand that feeds me, I'd like to inform you that the token I have just offered is highly valued here in Muhara. I can only hope that you appreciate its value. Oh, a copper A-man voucher. Yep. Oh, okay. So there's an NPC we talked to. And that gets a cutscene to take us to Norg. That works. His name is Tonasav. Oh, this guy here. And we have another cutscene. We're setting sail for Norg, landlubber. Hopefully you can handle the rough seas. Let's go. And now we're in Norg and we go find the Oak Door. Which I don't believe is here. If you ever leveled samurai or ninja, this place will be very familiar to you. <sighs> Did you get bumped about by the waves on your way here, Lathy? No matter, the boss be waiting for you and ins waiting inside for you. Ooh, I like her outfit. Oh ho, would you look who's decided to join us? Master? Uh 
I am both humbled and honored to be able to exchange word with you, words with you once more. I have followed your instructions to the letter. Months upon years have I toiled, seeking guidance from both man and the heavens, never once letting my training or dedication falter. All this I have done so that we may meet once more. And worthy though your disciple Iroha may be, her words and emotions are true. You got Krill in your ears, girl? She's calling you her master. What kind of master runs around forgetting who their pupils are? You mean to say you don't remember her at all? What's all this malarkey? I'm not get angry at her. It's only natural that she not remember me. I have wholly lost track of what year this is. 884, correct? This time is many, many years before I came to be, and my presence here is somewhat of an anomaly. Did you hit your head? Or I found you floating adrift or something? You mean to say that you haven't been born yet? Then how'd you get here? I came from an age far in the future when vanity stands on a precipice, and the master is the only one who can guide me. So you mean to say that Lacey, Lathy is this master of yours? Wow, I do well in the future. And from that outfit you're wearing, I'd wager you were born in the Far East. That is correct. I am the guardian of Risenjima Sanctorium, and have a strong link with the heavens as its chief priestess. Oh ho, I know the particulars of the Eastern faith are a bit foreign to the rest of us, but Altana remains a central figure even there. So that'd make you a relig religious authority, then. And let me guess, the power of the spirit sent you back to our time? I set me adrift so that I may prevent the darkness which has engulfed my era. What's this, then? You're going to have to be a bit more straightforward. Master, do I have your leave to show him their re our reality? I guess. By your will. In the age from whence I hail, Van Adil is gripped in the vice of fear. In my homeland, we refer to it as emptiness, a blanket of darkness that infects all it touches. The Master is our, is our only light of hope. She halted the advance of such a sinister force once. We are confident that she can do it again. The Master and her comrades drove tireless, tirelessly for a brighter future, and their tale is known by all in time. Many months and years passed. I came to be in this world and trained diligently under the Master's gentle hand. Yet it was not long before the skies began to cloud, both figurative, figuratively and literally. It descended like a thick miasma, stifling the land under a blanket of silence. It looked into the Master's eyes and could see the truth. I looked into my Master's eyes. And could see the truth. My homeland was not the only victim. Quan, Mindartia, Andalin. The end times were upon us, and both man and goddess were powerless to stop it. The end times were upon us, and both man and goddess were powerless to stop it. But then how did you survive? The master and my father sacrificed themselves. Oh dear. So I'm dead. Ah! My mother is from an island known as Raisinjima, the land where the strug final struggle took place. Vanquishing the emptiness was but a fantasy. It was all I could do to erect a barrier to halt its advance. Wow. A pyrrhic victory, indeed, as the walls of Raisinjima's sanctorium could do not but echo back my own solitary cries. I was trapped for several years when a spirit descended from the heavens to alight on a nearby brazier. She told me that there was only one speck of hope that could save us. The master. I was to find the master and join my alight with hers. The spirits opened a path for me, guiding me back here to this point in Van Adil's history. Master, I'd like to give you this, lest I forget to do so at a later juncture. From what you told me, there will be many trials posted to you before you finally set foot in the land you know today as the Far East. Keep this by your side, and the path will remain open to you always. Follow its guidance, and it will lead you unfailingly to my time. However, now just hang on a minute. If we just follow it without doing anything else, we'll just end up 
at your apocalyptic future where you're the only one left alive, right? That is correct. However, the Master surely has the capacity to experience both futures. One with the emptiness and one without. Please find a way to... to... Uh-oh, she's passing out. I cannot stay long. Oh, no, she's not passing out. She's returning to her time. What in blazes? Lazy, I can't make heads or tails of the whole thing. Think she's telling the truth? This warrants further study. I'll see if my agents can pick up on anything. I've never been too good at dealing with complex twists and turns. Give me some time to collect me thoughts. Maybe there is something to that tale I wrote has spun. All manner of never before seen beasts, people getting lost as places that look familiar. What's going on? Holodemia, seek the crystals. I suppose that's our next um objective. What was that light all about? A voice, you say? I didn't hear a blasted thing. But hey, if you say so, then you probably did. Hopefully it gave you something to go on, which is a darn sight better than anything I can do. Huzzah! Okay, so this race in Jima Sanctum Orb, it does several things for us. Um, it grants 30% bonus to experience and limit point gains. Oh, this is the Rhapsody in White. That one, not the Regisima Orb. Alter Egos allows an additional Alter Ego. 80% reduction in guilt consumed by home points when teleporting. Addition of items for sale by Curier Vendor Moogles. Reduces the amount of guilt and tabs consumed by survival guides. Reduces the amount of tabs required for several of the effects from survival guides. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Okay. Well, for now, we're going to cut this video, sh video here because the next one will involve a lot of travel.